Hey everybody, it's CompHelp. Thank you for watching this video in which I will review the application called Snapseed. Remember to thumb up the video if you like it in any way, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now this application, Snapseed, is actually pretty pricey. It's $4.99 in the App Store. I was fortunate enough to pick it up for free when it was in the App Store for free. And um, really, I I can totally see why it was priced at $5. This, this application is so awesome. I don't know if I can ever go without it again in my photography hobby life. Uh, seriously, it's it's awesome. I, I tend to take a lot of pictures with my iPhone. If you guys follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Google Plus or anything, you guys will find out that I like to take a lot of pictures. And this application has been my favorite photo editing app <laughs> thus far. It's really, really awesome, okay? So if you have those $5 to spend and you're a photographer or something, you wanna pick up this app. I'm just gonna let you know right now, okay? Um, but before you make that, before you buy it, Let's go ahead and take a look at it so you can see what you're getting yourself into. All right, so we can either edit in portrait or in landscape mode. I personally like to edit in landscape mode because we get a little bit more of a, of a preview of what we're doing here. Okay, and for this demonstration, I'll be using a sample photo that the app comes with. All right, so this photo looks really nice already. You know, nice colors, uh, you know, everything. The composition's nice, nice colors, nice depth of field, everything. It's just really appealing looking image. Well, we get all these effects over here, all these different uh, editing features here. For example, we can automatically correct uh, this image by doing like some auto color correction or uh, auto balancing and stuff. Uh, we can do we, where we edit a little portion of the image right here with this one, which is really cool. It's a really cool feature. I've never seen an app, another photo app have that. Uh, we have some, some uh, tune image, like I don't know, editing the saturation, contrast, white balance and stuff, the brightness, all in this one right here. Uh, we have straightening the image, we have cropping the image, black and white, vintage, drama, grunge, uh, center focus, and we have some frames that we can add to our uh, image here, okay? Now, honestly, if it just came with this, with the tune image, straighten and crop, it would be worth $5, in my opinion, just because how awesome this application is. You have so much flexibility over each of these effects and uh, each of the settings here. So let's go ahead and check it out. Me personally, what I always do is I always like to straighten the image before I do anything. So we get these nice grid lines here, okay? We can, you know, do that. Those grid lines really help you out when you're straightening out the image. Now, I think this image was pretty straight uh, to start out with, but uh, I'll just go here and click this arrow to apply that and it processes it really quick. All right, next I'm going to crop this image. It's already cropped really nice. The photographer did a really nice job with this, but just so I can give an example of what a crop looks like here, I'm just gonna give you a really bad example, okay? I'm just gonna crop it to make it look like this, okay? All right, and I'm gonna click this arrow so we can apply that. Great, so now that's what our image looks like. Now, something awesome I love about this app is that we can always go back and look at our previous changes or what it looked like from the beginning. To do this, we're just going to tap and hold on the image, okay? So far, we see that it was straightened a little bit. Uh, maybe you can't even tell in the video, really, but... And we can see the crop for sure, all right? So that's what it looked like before. Nothing's really changed. Let's go to Tune Image, and from here, we can change a bunch of different effects. Okay, we can change a bunch of different things. And to view our selection, we're just going to slide up and down with our thumb or our finger, you know, whatever. And our first thing is brightness. Sweet, so we can... Go side to side this way for crazy brightness or really dark. You know, we just have huge flexibility again over what our image is going to look like. Me, when I when I edit my images, I like to make it a little bit brighter than what they really are. I don't know, it's just my own style. Uh, I'm going to go down to ambience. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of ambience on there. Contrast, okay, we can change the contrast a bit. Saturation. I like to bump up their saturation maybe too much. I like to over-exaggerate the colors. That's what I personally like to do. Okay, and then I like to go to white balance and find exactly what I'm doing here. I always find like a referenced uh, subject for my, for me, it's either the ground or the sky, and I wanna pick the exact color I want. And I want that ground to be a little bit more tan like that, or a little bit more brown. Okay, so maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's bring the saturation down just a bit. If we brought it all the way down, it'd be like a black and white image, so. This is just an example. All right, maybe, maybe around there. Okay, I don't know, you'd probably do this different. I'm gonna click that arrow so we can process this. Done, okay, it's processed. Now let's look at what the image looked like before. Okay, the colors looked really washed out and uh, compared to my new, 
my new colors okay so right there right off the bat you can get an example of what it looks like also let me just do this really quick let's say I bump up the brightness like crazy high I can look at what this looked like before my last edit or you know so to do this what I do is click this little portrait frame up there click and hold and that's what it looked like before and I'm like oh, okay you know what I actually like that better than my new edit so I'll just click this back button and it undoes the uh, you know, it kind of controls these the effect alright next I like to go to grunge or drama actually I like to add drama effects and what this does is it kind of adds like an HDR looking effect to it but if you add if you bump up the filter too much see how it looks all white and ugly around the subjects in the sky I'll bring that filter strength down just some like that okay now you can't tell in the video but there's a lot more texture going on in the ground and that's what I really like about adding this drama effect this filter and I like to bump up the saturation again because when you do add that drama filter it takes away some of the saturation so there we go that's what my image would look like if it was finished I'm gonna click this arrow great so we have now edited an image very fast okay honestly this demonstration took up a lot of time but that's because I'm explaining things if you're actually doing this on your own it's really fast it goes by really fast I've edited multiple uh, photos at once while in the car uh, on my way to places of course I wasn't driving let's look at what my image looked like before wow you know it's a pretty big difference of what it looks like um, so that's pretty much the app now what we can do is actually click this button up here save the photo library email print flickr or even we can send this to Facebook now just save this photo to my library and just like that it's saved super fast saving super fast at applying uh, at processing my effects really awesome to go back and see what my image looked like before snapseed five dollars in the app store really pricey but honestly it is my favorite photo app I've I haven't seen a better one than this okay me personally um, you just have so much flexibility over this a lot of people like those uh, pre-made filters and stuff me I like to edit my images the way I want to I want the colors to be how I want them to be um, there we go that's Snapseed sorry this video was kinda long uh, I felt that it needed to be long though to explain uh, thoroughly what this app does thank you for watching this video remember to thumbs up comment and subscribe